Your Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series champion Hudson O'Neill is already experiencing tragedy at the Gateway Dirt Nationals. During the hot laps for the event, he spun out, made significant damage against the wall, and did not uh, post for any kind of qualifying time, was already out of his fire suit, and it's unclear if he will compete the rest of the weekend. Let's take a look here at what happened on the track during the hot laps. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications, so you don't miss any of our videos here at John Trent Racing. Well, let's look at this right here. This is Hudson O'Neill. He is not racing uh, that number one that you might have seen him on the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series. He is racing in this white number 71 car, uh, but let's take a look at what happened to him on the track. He's going into the turn, just loses it, boom, and bangs into the wall and then whips around. Significant, significant damage done to the rear end of that car, uh, and it looks like his night would be finished because he did indeed uh, take off his fire suit and spoke with uh, flow racing uh, in the pits. Let's listen to what he had to say and uh, his explanation as to what exactly happened here. Uh, their audio isn't very good, so uh, but it is what we've got. But let's take a listen. Let's take us back through what happened. We took the checkered and I was just kind of, I don't know, I, I was kind of just getting out of the gas and I got on the brakes to just get turned and they just locked the motor up. And whenever you lock the motor up, it locks rear tires up and you just slide, you know, and that was what happened. Uh, I don't know, it, a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of money just to make two or three laps or however many we made, you know. Uh, I don't know, none of my guys deserve this and it's my fault and I just, uh, I don't know, I don't really know what to say, you know. It, Boom and Mark and Dan, Joel, Austin, Shane, everybody, they put a lot of time into this and... Um, you know, and as well as me and my girlfriend, and prepared with a lot of with a lot of souvenir stuff and everything, and it, uh, it just seems like it's all went down the drain now. You know, uh, I don't know, uh, shoulda, coulda, woulda. I guess. You know, I didn't really feel like I did much wrong. Just unfortunate circumstances. Man, do you think? Uh, I know it's kind of hard to process what you're doing here, but do you think you'll stay around the rest of the weekend? I don't know. I, right now, I want to crawl up in a ball and drive the rocket, and take it apart, and work on it. So uh, I don't know. We'll, uh, Calm down here just a little bit and make a decision. Guys, first. So it's unclear whether or not he will stick around for the rest of the weekend for the Gateway Dirt Nationals. Clearly a uh, massive, massive mistake that he made, and he is owning up to it, saying it was a driver error when he got on the brakes, locking up the engine, and then just smashing it into the fence there with the rear end. Uh, it's unclear exactly how much damage is done, but it does sound like it is a significant amount of damage. Uh, so much so that they are going to be having discussions on whether or not they should just pack it up and leave or whether or not they can get it repaired and get out there. He did miss qualifying, though, so that will put him behind the eight ball a ton for the rest of the weekend, especially coming up uh, with the, uh, the feature race here later tonight. But that is what has happened with Hudson O'Neill at the Gateway Dirt Nationals. He is the first to face tragedy. Let me know what you guys think about what Hudson O'Neill had to say and uh, what happened to him at the Gateway Dirt Nationals.